I know what uh, all the professors would like me to say. <laughs> the wise way is uh, you must be focused on your academics, that's all the concern is. But we must look at this. All life on this planet, anything that you take, a worm, an insect, a bird, an animal, a tree or a human being. The only thing that every life is aspiring for is, it is trying to become a full-fledged life. An earthworm is trying to be a full-fledged earthworm. A grasshopper is trying to be a full-fledged grasshopper. A mango tree is trying to be a full-fledged mango tree. So is a human being. Only thing is, we know what is a full-fledged earthworm, we know what is a full-fledged grasshopper, we know what is a full-fledged everything, but we do not know what is a full-fledged human being. Doesn't matter what you do, somehow seems inadequate. No matter where you get in your life, you will see there is one more thing to do. Never does a human being come to a place where he thinks this is it. That only other people say when you're dead, this is it. <laughs> so, the essential nature of life, not just human life, every life is, it is longing to become a full-fledged life, so is a human being. So wherever you may be in your life right now, you want to be something more. If that something more happens, you want to be something more. If that happens, something more. You will see whatever your aspirations right now as students, suppose all of them get fulfilled within the next one year, you will immediately see you will have another aspiration. If everything that you want gets all fulfilled by tomorrow morning, you will see you will have much more things to do because the very nature of being human is such, you always want to be something more. But if you really look at it, what you want is not something more, what you want is a limitless expansion. Even if I make you the king of this planet, don't look at me hopefully, huh? <laughs> I will not make such a blunder <laughs> But suppose we make you the king of this planet, do you believe you will be fulfilled? You will look at the stars. If you have this planet in your hands, you look at the stars. If I give you one galaxy, you will look at the next galaxy. This is the nature of the human being. There is something within us which is always longing to become boundless. But in most human beings, because of their fear of suffering, they think that if they desire for something and it doesn't happen, they will suffer. Because of the fear of suffering, this longing to become boundless is finding a very constipated expression. This constipated expression of longing for the boundless gets labeled as ambition. What you think is ambition is just a constipated expression for a boundless expansion that every life is longing for. But you will see in your life, no matter what happens, you will see you will want something more. This, somebody may label it as greed, it is not about greed because the very nature of the human being is such, no matter how many pacifist philosophies you teach him, you cannot contain him. People have told you, you must be happy with what you have, whatever God has given you, that should be the right thing for you. But it's not worked for one human being on the planet. It only works either when you're very sick or very old. <laughs> Otherwise, if you have little energy coursing through your body, you want to do something more. So it's not more. A human being, there is something within you which doesn't like boundaries. If I imprison you in a five by five cubicle, you will feel terribly imprisoned. Then we will liberate you tomorrow into a ten by ten cubicle. You will feel wonderful for a day, but again you will feel imprisoned. 
The next day we will release you into a hundred by hundred cubicle, you will feel really great, but in three days again you'll want to break, break that boundary. It doesn't matter where I set the boundary, the moment you become conscious of the boundary, you want to break that boundary. This is the nature of the human being. So there is something within you which does not like boundaries. So if you do not like boundaries, what should you seek? That's a question. As long as you live in the physical nature of the existence, the very nature of physicality is a defined boundary. Only because there is a defined boundary, physical is possible. We can call this a physical body because it has boundaries. If I pull out all the boundaries, this will not be physical anymore. So somewhere, unconsciously, every human being is wanting to touch a dimension beyond physical nature. If you touch a dimension beyond the physical nature, then we use the must much maligned and corrupted word called spirituality. Spiritual means not looking up or looking down. Spiritual means your experience of life has transcended the limitations of being physical. Something more than physical is happening to you. This means you are on the spiritual process. So this longing is there in every human being. So essentially, it doesn't… what you do in your life, our activity is not about us. Activity is about the world that we live in. Today, you are here in twenty-first century, so you guys are in IIT. Suppose you were here five thousand years ago, where would you be? Huh? No, no. <laughs> you know, five thousand years ago they were talking, Mahabharat, Ramayan, so you would be in one of those armies trying to shoot an arrow <laughs> hey, you can't shoot anything <laughs> You would try to learn to fight with somebody in a sword or something else of the day. I'm saying your mind, your application, your fulfillment in activity would be all that type of activity relevant to the times. Our activity is always about the times in which we exist, it's not about us really. What times do we exist, what is most needed right now, that's what we do. But how to be is the question. If it comes to how to be, there's only one way to be, that somewhere in every human being there is a longing to expand beyond physical limitations. This is happening in four different ways. If it finds a very basic physical expression, we call this sexuality. You are trying to expand the boundaries of who you are. What you are not, you are trying to include as yourself. This is what sexuality is. If it finds an emotional expression, we call this love. Once again, something that is not you, you are trying to make it a part of you. If it finds a mental expression, it gets labeled as ambition, greed, conquest or simply shopping. <laughs> if it finds a conscious expression, then we call it yoga. Yoga means not twisting your body or turning your body, yoga means union. In some way, consciously you learnt how to obliterate the boundaries of your individual nature. Now your ability to experience yourself beyond your physical existence has become a living reality for you. This is everybody's longing, but it finds constipated expression. Instead of that, if you find a conscious expression, Life will be very, very different. <laughs>